It's good to be, amen, at Taze Valley. Amen. It's good to see you. I missed this meeting, amen. I mean, I walked up on the floor and I said, where's that? It's not here, right here. It was a blessing to be there every year. And maybe next year, the Lord will work it out. We'll be able to have another meeting like that. But that'll be a joy. But it's a blessing to see here. Carol and I got here uh, uh, this morning, come into the service, and uh, enjoyed the uh, message. Amen. Choir was a blessing, the special. And I uh, told Carol, and I said, the church hadn't changed a bit. Amen. It's right there, and we're grateful for that. We appreciate it so much. Amen. Well, we're in a mess, amen? Yes, sir. But the Lord knows what he's doing, amen? And he's in control, amen? I want you to turn, if you would, to Job chapter 1. Please, Job chapter 1. Amen. Carolyn, why don't you stand up? Let everybody see you back there, okay? Will you stand up? Amen. We're grateful she's here. Amen. Uh, everybody thinks she's my daughter, but she's not really. Okay, close enough. But uh, this is her first time since the building has been remodeled. And what a joy and what a blessing that is. Amen. Job chapter 1. I'm going to read the ninth and 10th verse, if we may. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, The Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made a hedge about him, all about his house? All that he has he hath on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. What a joy that God builds hedges. Amen. Aren't you glad God has protected you and given you a edge? Yes. Amen. Isn't it good to be able to say God has blessed us, God's provided us, God's protected us? Amen. Amen. Thank God. Uh, if you go down the interstate, you ought to say, thank God for the hedge that will take care. Amen. And we're thankful for it. Amen. What a joy it is to know that God pulls that hedge and protects us. Amen. I'm grateful for that. But are you listening? Sometimes the hedge comes down. Amen. Here the scripture telling us that God has protected us, blessed him, given every way that he could talk about, blessed are the work, the substances, everything's increased. But all of a sudden, God says, but... I'm going to let the hedge come down. I'm going to talk with you for a little while. Five things. Amen? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you know that, preacher. Amen? Yes, sir. Five things here about how God brought the hedge down and about it. The first thing I want you to notice is this, that the, as the hedge has come down, but God has not changed. Amen. Amen. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's coming up. And yet we believe God has not changed one bit. Everything has changed. Amen. You look around and so much going on and uh, desert and, and you, you watch television. You never know what's going to come on next. You never know what the situation's coming up. And everything has changed. I mean, the uh, politics changing and the financing changes, all these things, and yet God has not changed one bit. Amen. And sometimes we get discouraged and we want to say, God, what are you going to do? Well, he says, I'm still God. I'm still God. No matter. Sometimes uh, our health can go a little weird there. Amen. But God's still the same. Amen. Uh, some of you, I was talking to Roger earlier back there and some of the changes in his life. And uh, I've had some dramatic things in my life. And yet, but you know what? God has not changed one bit. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Sometimes people's finances changes. Amen. Some of you are saying, I don't have a job like I used to have. Amen. Or the, the expenses come along, or this has come along, or that's come along. But you know what? You can turn around and say, God's still right there. Amen. He hasn't changed at all. Sometimes we don't fear uh, some of y'all's marriage has changed. Amen. Some of you's children come along. Situations come along. And uh, sometimes, sometimes you say, God, what's going on? God said, I'm here, but I'm just letting the hedge come down. Amen. Once in a while, that's sad. Sometimes we wish you'd, don't, don't you wish we never had a hedge never come down? Don't you wish we never had that? Never had those circumstances. Didn't have to go to the hospital, amen. Didn't have to go to these funerals. Didn't have to go to these situations and never take place. And yet, uh, it still is there, amen. But, but just believe this in your life and in your heart. God is still real, amen. He's still God. Hasn't changed at all. Let's, uh, let's read verse 20, if we may. Verse 20. And he says, Then Job arose, rent his mantle, shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground, did you say? And worshiped. Why? Because God's still the same. Amen. All these other circumstances have changed. And uh, all, all, all weird things come along. Amen. I mean, situations. And, and one thing come up there, it said, and he shaved his head. Now, I don't mind a lot of things going on. But I'm going to tell you, preacher, I don't want to shave my head. Amen. Just going to leave that alone the best I can. But God says, if that's whatever takes on. Amen. Whatever happens, I'll just say, I'll worship. Amen. Yes, so listen to me. These next week and the next month and the next year, you know one of the most amazing things in the world, where are we going to be next year at this time? Nobody has a clue what's going to happen. But you know what? God will be just the same. Amen. Amen. Yes. God will still be the same. The second thing I've written down is that Satan cannot touch that is most important. Amen. You said, but preacher, look at all these things. I know. Let's read verse 21. And he said, naked have I come out of my mother's womb. Naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Very simple. You may take this, you may take that, take that but the most important things hath not changed. Amen. Amen. I'm still saved. Amen. Yes, sir. Aren't you glad that when the hedge comes down, God doesn't take our, our salvation away? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now, some people think that, well, the hedge come down. I, I, I lost my salvation. No, no, no. God has not changed, and our salvation has not changed. Yes, Amen. I thank God for that. Our salvation is real. We don't want to forget about it. It's there. Most important thing that we can possibly do, he's right there. Amen. Well, he lost his children, I know. But later on, God took care of that. Amen. Sometimes the finances go. Amen. And you say, but preacher, I, I lost this and I lost that. But you know what? The most important things is still right there. Amen. And the preacher was just preaching this morning. Amen. No matter what happens, amen, heaven will be open. Amen. Not going to change it. Amen. God's not going to say that's enough. I've had enough. No more. No, sir. He's right there. Thank God for that. Amen. Satan cannot touch him. That is most important. Amen. The third thing I wrote down is Job refused. I like this. Amen. I always like whatever my point right there is my favorite one. Amen. So right here, number three, Job refused to listen to the wrong voice. Amen. I mean, I, I wonder how many have listened to these situations about God and the, the hedges come down and this has taken place and everything. And sometimes somebody will come along and say, let me tell you what the problem is. Amen. Are you listening? Don't listen to the wrong voice. Amen. Keep your faith and don't let anybody challenge it. Amen. Have you ever maybe had a, uh, maybe a marriage problems going on and you, you say, my goodness, we're having issues and uh, the hedge come down and we're struggling and it's going through marriage and everything. And, and you go up and uh, somebody will come along and uh, they, they come to the cooler. Amen. 
and you got somebody up there, they've just had divorced six times, amen, but they're going to tell you how to do it, amen. Are you listening? You don't listen to the wrong crowd, amen. If you read that in, in verse number 9 of chapter 2, then said his father unto him, Dost thou retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Amen. You know what? I wonder if Job might have told her, Hey, listen, lady. God has not changed. Amen. The things that he's blessed us, the greatest things, and the things that, 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 that matter the most is still there. But she said, I'm not going to listen to that. Amen. You aren't going to, you're speaking like a, a foolish woman. Amen. Not going to listen to that. We're not going to soak that up. Amen. Sometimes the hedge comes down and we say, some crowd comes along and tell us the wrong thing. Amen. Don't listen to those that uh, don't believe God. Amen. Those that walk with you. Amen. Uh, when you come up in this chapter here, uh, chapter two, his friends come up. You know, and they all come with the advice and the criticism and all that. Amen. And he finally had to tell her, I don't listen to that any longer. Amen. You know what you do? You just stay to church. Amen. Yep. You get right in there with your pastor. Amen. Yep. Stay right in there in the word of God. Amen. Keep praying like you're supposed to. Yes, Amen. Don't listen to the wrong crowd. Just keep your voice right there. And, and though the hedge comes down, you just keep trust God and keep doing right. Amen. And I'm looking forward to it. Amen. Whatever comes along, just remember God's word is still good. Amen. And there's a fourth thing I wanted to mention to you. Amen. Talking about when the edge comes down. Are you listening? It's okay to grieve. Amen. It's okay. Do you know what? Sometimes when the hedge comes down and we say, well, I'll never, I'll never weep. Amen. I'll never. No, it's okay to grieve. Sometimes it's easy. Amen. Sometimes our, our tears come out. Sometimes our, our griefing comes. And, and if you will read that later on in verse 13, his grief was very great. Amen. Sometimes it's tough. Amen. You know, sometimes people come along and say, well, you just, you know, you're supposed to keep a smile on your face all the time and, and excited about it, all that, uh, and, and somehow you're not doing what you ought to do if you grieve. Well, that's okay. Amen. Sometimes we can just wait on God and say, yes, God will take care of you. Amen. And uh, uh, when we come through our situation with this staff, uh, I'm sorry, with the uh, stroke, and the situation was there, and... Uh, was not always easy just to keep your smile up. Amen. People would come in to the hospitals and everything, and I'd say, oh, it'll be fine. Amen. It's wonderful. If things are all right, God's in control. It's going to be okay. Amen. They walk out, and I say, dear God, what am I going to do? Sometimes we feel that way. You know what? You're still human. Amen. Here Job was there, and sometimes he was grieving. And I bet there was times he wept, his heart broke, situations going on. And sometimes we think, have you ever thought, it's going to run forever? It's going to run forever. Uh, the, the, the hedge is down, and it's never going to get better. Let me give you just one little information here, teaching right here. Do you know how long's experience, how long it lasted? How long it, from, from chapter 1 to chapter 42? How long did that did it go? 10, 15 years? No. Are you listening? He come one year. One year. And sometimes we think it's, it's going to be over. It's, going, it's never going to be over. But you know what? You just trust God. Yeah. It'll go over. Amen. Sooner or later, God's going to say that's enough. Amen. And one of these days, uh, uh, the Lord sees all that goes on in our life and our situation. And, and, and are you listening to me? Maybe somebody listening to me right now. The hedge has come down. You didn't think it ever changed like this. God, is it ever going to get better? Is it going to change? Are you listening? It's just a year there, Job. Maybe yours will be less. Maybe it'll be days. Amen. But distrust God. 
Trust God. It's okay to grieve a little bit. Don't, don't get, uh, go beyond the place there. Just come up, shake it off, and say, God's still in control. Yes, sir. I'm just going to trust him. Amen. If we're not going to read all the chapter, but if you go to chapter uh, 42, Job chapter 42, amen. My last thought is God can rebuild a new hedge. Amen. God can bring them back up, the hedge back up. Amen. If you read the rice chapter there in, in chapter 42, verse 16 and 17, it's a good one. And after this, Job lived in 140 years. Amen. And saw his sons and his sons' sons, even fourth generations. So Job died being old and full of days. Amen. Are you listening? God knows how to get the hedge back up. Amen. Have you ever thought it'll never be this way again? It'll never be like it is now. It'll never come back better again. I don't know if I can ever get back where I need to be. But are you listening? God is still able. Amen. And you know what he can do? Give you more and more and more and more. And just be there faithful to God. The hedge, if the hedge is up, amen, and everything's going wonderful and everything's going gracious, if it's up there, say hallelujah for the hedge. Amen. But if it goes down, just wait on God. Don't get discouraged. Don't feel like I'm going to quit. I can't, no. God says, I'm going to wait to that period of time and then I'm going to bring you back. Amen. And the greatest things we'll ever do is just trust in God. Now, I want to ask you right now. In just a moment, we're going to have an invitation. But I just wonder for somebody here right now and say, Preacher, I'm so glad in the hedge. God's been good. Everything's going well. The, the finances are going well. The health is going good. The family's going good. Amen. You know what y'all do is say, hallelujah, thank you. Amen. But if the hedge is down, I wonder tonight if you'd just like to say, God, I trust you and I believe you. And God, I know you're going to just keep right on. You've been honest. You've been pure to me. Now, God, I'm going to stay there and trust you. God speaking to your heart. You listen to him as you stand. Will you stand right now?